Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. So I want to play a little bit more Dwarf Fortress. It's been quite a while. In fact, if you uh, can see my clock here, you probably recognize that it's been a long time since I played Dwarf Fortress. I apologize, it happens, I get distracted. Uh, so first off, let's fire up some music and, uh, you know what, let's just load the game. That'll get the music going. But, um, I, unfortunately, if you recall, lost my save file. And so that's the main reason why I kind of took a break from Dwarf Fortress. I was just so darn annoyed that I lost my save, you know, um, I don't know even, I still don't even to this day know really why it crashed. So you know what, come to think of it, um, let's do this, we're gonna type die to get rid of the game. Now the music is going, I'm, I'm fine with it, but then uh, I want to do, do, um, oh yeah, and there's a couple other things I wanted to show you. So somebody in one of the comments mentioned this program called Fences, which I love, it's awesome. So somebody, you guys rock, I mean you're just, you're just cool people in general. Somebody's like noticing how I constantly was going, uh, not, no, blech, not that, no. I was going right click, um, view, show desktop icons, and I would, I would hide and show and hide and show, and it was just, I don't know, I like, I like having a clean background because I like the beautiful picture, you know? But um, Fences is something made by Stardock, which is the same company that made Galactic Civilization 2, which is an awesome game. And uh, it's cool, and it, uh, it creates these little boxes that you can configure, you can rename them and stuff, and uh, there's a whole thing for... Uh, Configuring settings, like you can, you know, like, choo, go like that, apply change. It just, like, puts in places. But I don't want to do that, I want to go back. You can go like this. Da! Looks bad, go back. And uh, it's really cool, you can cu customize the color. Uh, again, this isn't like a promotion for it or anything, I'm just excited about it. But um, the best thing is you just double click and it goes away. And um, you can configure it so that certain icons automatically go into certain fences. Um, I have everything that just, you know, this is kind of like the primary. Everything goes there and then I kind of filter it out a bit. But um, it's convenient for me, so I like it. Stop judging me. Anyway, um, why am I talking about this? Oh, and um, this is kind of a teaser for people who are awesome and watch Dwarf Fortress. I am releasing a new CK2 series very, very soon. You'll probably even see it before you see this, which makes no sense. Actually, no. I might, I might hold off on releasing that for a little bit, but uh, Defective Decadence is going to be an interesting one. So I'm currently uploading that. That'll take about four years because my internet's terrible. And, uh, oh, right, so yeah, what I wanted to do was I wanted to open up this thing, and I wanted to go to LPN, I wanted to go not to there, I wanted to go here, I wanted to go to this, and I wanted to configure autosave. Autosave, yes. Seasonal autosave from now on. Backup saves, yes. Pause on save, yes. And that's good. Now we can launch it. New music. Good. So yeah, so now we have saves engaged, which should hopefully make me not um, throw a huge fit and complain. Um, so we're gonna close that now, we don't need that. Sound sense can be fine. Should we get some music going? Music? Music, music? Good, good. Okay, and I just wanted to make sure one more thing. Shoot. Alright. There's one more file that I need. Where was it? Stop looking at all my files. They're not important. Where is it? Documents, Dwarf Fortress, no, no, where did I put it? Alright, I'll do this. Every time I pull this up, someone's like, oh god, look at your, you know, you know. And that's fine, it doesn't even matter, you can browse anything, you'll find weird shit that shows up in your, your list. Sorry about the swearing, but uh, anyway. So we're gonna look for, what was it called, names? It was like names or something. Yeah, see? Names mod. Oh, I did put it in there, apparently. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. There we go. 98 people that have not yet been assigned, and so if we need them, they're here. Okay, so we're ready to play Dwarf Fortress. How many programs do you have to have going at once to play Dwarf Fortress? It's ridiculous. Uh, we're also going to need Therapist. And let's go ahead and play the actual game. So, hopefully I remember what I'm doing. I've got the mouse thing going. I haven't played this in a while. I apologize. We can do the... Uh, apparently we can't. Yes, we can. I have to have things selected. Okay, so where do we even leave off? I don't remember. Let's check it out. So we've got um, 53 dwarves. We've got, uh, let's use, you know, therapist will probably be easier. So, read dwarves. So, as far as stuff goes, we can, let's sort by job. Not current job, but actual profession. Kind of gives me an idea of how many of each thing we have. Although it's the same thing as these numbers across the top here. Or that's actually a number of assigned labors. So, yeah. Um, well, let's just keep playing. 
This is tough getting back into. I've forgotten what I was doing. Oh, did I unlock these doors? That's the problem. That's why we had that chicken explosion. Now I know what to... Yes, yes. The, uh, the dogs can leave. It's fine. But the chickens are stuck in there. And, uh, nope. That's passable. That's passable. Alright. Let's just play. Oh gosh, combat. That's right. I had too many dogs standing around or something. There's like puppies here. I think there's a couple of them. Stock level is low. What is this? Turkey gobblers fighting? <laughs> the bone doctor breaks the grip of the stray turkey gobbler's beak. <laughs> so, <laughs> the bone doctor's fighting with a turkey? <laughs> what? Where? Alright, hold on. I gotta see where this is. That's funny. Reports, turkey gobbler zoom. Find the mouse. Where's the mouse? You see it? Okay, we gotta put it over here probably. Because it, uh, it's automatically following the cursor. So, reports, this, zoom. Find the little X. Okay, so the bone doctor apparently went in here and got attacked by a turkey gobbler. <laughs> that is funny. Alright, yeah, he's, he's apparently slaughtering a chick or something. There's a lot of a lot of freaking birds. You know what we need is we need an assembly line of murder. We need to just build a whole bunch of butcher's workshops. Did I do that yet? Yeah, straight Polt has been shot down or slaughtered. Um, let's go build workshop. And I want to make a few more butcher's workshops. We've got three right now. So let's go... Why is the mouse not following? What's happening? I don't understand. Oh, it's going to be paused, I think. Build workshop. Butcher's Workshop. There we go. See, I know how to play this game, kind of. Vaguely. We'll make Butcher's Workshops out of pine logs. Because that's all you really need is a piece of wood. And you can just, you know, grab a rock and slaughter the bird. In fact, why don't we enable a few more people to do butchery? Sort by none. Actually, let's, uh, let's pause the game. Sorry, I keep, keep forgetting. Pause the game. We'll go by current job. And if you don't have a job, you, pseudonym, you are now going to be a butcher. Go, go butcher some chickens. Sorry about that. We have a new lamb. Pults have hatched just in time. Sweet. I have such a surplus of food. A little bit of meat. Nipple bottoms. <laughs> Alright, so apparently I had just established... Uh, what's all that blood from? There's a bronze bolt here and a pool of giant emu blood. Apparently somebody was fighting. Okay, um... What did I want to do? I, there was something I wanted to do. I know we were digging down. Nope, no, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. Whoa, whoa, wrong. Settle down there, fella. How do you zoom through? Shift, that's right. Shift, zoom. All right, I was, that's right. I was finishing building all these bedrooms. And uh, we had just started. Okay, so we built a wall there. And we haven't really... Ah, we have not gone into the cave. All right, so... We'll go designate I up down stairway, and we'll put it, let's say, right here. And we're going to dig straight through, just down to there for now. We don't have any lava. I want to dig down so we can get some lava. That or we need to import tremendous and tremendous huge amounts of wood. In fact, speaking of which, um, I have completely forgotten my control bind key bindings for things like... What was it? Control W? Control W. Alt W. Workflow constraints. Alright, sweet. I remember how to get there, kind of. I don't remember the shortcut to get directly here. But, uh, yeah. So how are we doing on stuff? So we got 137 prepared meals. 14 barrels. We have no coal. We actually have 223 bars of iron. Wow, I didn't realize that we had that large of an industry going. Oh yeah, that's right, I did it up here. Okay, so where is all of this iron? We can find it by going here into the stock menu. We can press tab to enable that, press S to enable search, and then we can go iron. Um, and of course that's just going to filter out everything that's not iron. I've still got to scroll down to the right, the right one. Weapons, iron war hammers. Okay, so we did start making weapons. Bars. Zoom. All right. So apparently the iron is. I got that. That mouse thing kind of, kind of makes the zoom feature kind of useless. 
We've marked 24 turkeys for slaughter. Fantastic. That's, uh, that's, that's terrible. We have tons of iron. My, my gosh. Let's, um, let's check the manager. So we're making beds, 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 beds. What about, um, are we making weapons? Z, not justice, stocks, weapons. We have some iron war hammers, iron crossbows. What about armor? Do we start armor? Oh god, look at all this armor. It's ridiculous. Dresses and socks and everything are in here. That's silly. Legwear. Oh god, it's so messy. Vanilla, vanilla Dwarf Fortress, there's like thousands of freaking items. It's annoying. Okay, let's just queue up a whole bunch of um, iron boots. I want you to make 30 pair. Go. Get on it. Somebody needs to man these forges and stuff. Why would you suspend the construction of a door? Why can't I zoom to location? That's even more annoying. Oh <laughs> god, just killed like three of them at once. There's so much food, so many dead animals out here I bet. So much, look at that, skulls and fat and... Blech. Nasty. Um, I just have a couple traps. I probably need to make a lot more traps. And I also need more barrels. I mean, we've got food just kind of hanging out. Turkey meat. Are you making food? Yeah, he's making easy meals. How is the skill of our dwarf cook doing? Dwarven cooks. Cooking. How is that even pop? Oh. We've got a level four. It's not very good. I'm going to disable it for a couple people. I prefer for just one or two of them to get really good at it. They can make a lot of money off that. Baez. We've got six idlers. Let's do some tree chopping. I remember I had set up cart paths, and that's one of those things where... Oh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to get things like that working. Good job, nipple bottoms. So many freaking turkeys. Animals. Sort by cast. We've got 19 dogs, 38 hens, 22 roosters, 22 gobblers. There's so many freaking animals, so many birds in there. It's just ridiculous. Look at that. There's like, they're stacked on top of each other. That's like, you ever see the documentary where they show like how animals get abused when they're being raised for, for food? It's ridiculous. Okay, how are we doing on those high boots? None! What in the hell? Where's my manager? Nobles, noble screen, manager. Xander Ham Eater, you're, you're being a slacker. Oh, apparently I've got him being a broker too. What are you doing, Xander? Unit list. Uh, S for search. X-A-N. Xander Ham Eater. Okay, he is managing work orders. Get to work! Being a little slacker. There he is. He's right here. Cue up those work orders. Quit being a... You know what a pretty safe thing to queue up would actually be? is to just have a couple... Let's do this. I'm gonna go add new task. I want you to make armor out of iron, and I want iron breastplates. And I'm gonna go control W. Nope, alt W. Uh, yes. And I want to add a limit. I want breastplates made out of iron. I want to have just a small limit. I want to have a range of, say, uh, one to... Th one to th Three. So if a, if a dwarf picks up some iron for, like, picks up a breastplate, I just want them to, like, always have at least one standing by. That'll help also make it a little bit easier. What's that dumb little bird doing? What are you doing? Mebzuth Tedkikros. We're gonna eat you. You're gonna become food. 
We have, this is a bird factory is what this is. This isn't Dwarf Fortress. This is a bird fortress. A bird, bird explosion. I think we need more of those things. Build workshop. Uh, not craft dwarfs. Build workshop. You for butcher. We just need lots and lots of butcher's workshops. Like tons of them. Can't have too many. What is this reindeer doing? Oh, an elven caravan has arrived. Did we did we trade with the elves last time? I don't even remember. It's been a long time. You know what we should do? We should kill the elves. We should murder them and and then hide in our tunnels. I'm really, really not prepared to trade with the elves. I think. I I'm pretty sure we did trade with them before. Let's see if we can actually get anything of value here. Let's sort by value. Finished goods bin. Let's uh, go ahead and send a few of these things over. And we'll see if we can actually do anything with them. You know what? I'd really like to create a, um, a location to keep our people. Like an indoor location for the trade depot. So what would be the best way to do that? Usually I like to make like an airlock. Let's see if we can get our, our miners working on that. Um, let's pause. We can use the mouse query. That's the thing, you gotta pause the game first, apparently, for that to work. So first off, let's go DZ for remove hills, and I just want you to take out all of that stuff. In fact, just take out all of them near the entrance. And then I want you to dig that, and then I want you to dig a tunnel that's gonna go in to, say, here. And actually, let's make it all the way into here. We'll have the actual depot. That's where it can fit. I want to have a little bit of room around it. And then we'll have an entrance in here. So we don't need this. And then we'll have room for a drawbridge to raise and lower. We'll use floodgates on the inside and we can sort of seal up this main entrance a bit. Um, but doing this right now like this would actually open it to the outside world. So let's actually go just, just work on the outside, work on the inside, and then I'll worry about that later once we actually have the the defense system in place. As far as this trade session though, we're probably not going to get much. Let's go ahead and smooth out these roads. This whole area too. Get to work you little brats. How are we doing on that? Pending, still pending quite a bit. See I've got the I've got the goods stored so far away that they're they're still slowly dragging them over there. That's those little X's. I don't have a convenient location to store the finished goods, so they have to just there's a lot. It's a lot of work for them. And I think we just saw an announcement that something constructed some more beds. It's a weird looking door. Are these all assigned as bedrooms? They are not. Let's check something real quick. I want to check out stock levels. I want to go down to um, beds. We've got 56 and when it says, see how it says 56, 91? There's 56 currently unused, 91 total that are in use. So we've got lots of them already in use. And then here you can see brown ones we've made. Um, how does that work again? I think that the brown ones we've made and are in use, the blue ones are not in use. I don't know. Doesn't matter. We have The point is we have beds. We also need to check and see if we've got... Um, what do we have here? Do we have some... I need beds, I need cabinets, I need coffers, and doors. Let's check out doors. Doors. 28 doors. Okay, so we've got just enough doors to do a single floor. What about um, cabinets? Cabinets, we have 40. And coffers, which is actually containers. Containers. Where the hell's containers? It's kind of annoying that this isn't alphabetical. Containers. Boxes and bags, actually. Yeah, so we've got a lot of dolomite coffers. Okay. Looks like we can build out another floor. So let's go ahead and add... Uh, let's get Quick Fort going. We'll go Alt-F to select File. We'll go with Windmill Bedrooms. We'll go with Windmill Build. We'll go B-O. Um, move the mouse off to the side of the map. And we'll control the mouse with the keyboard, put it in the center, and Alt-V to check the footprint. 
Looks good. And I think it's Alt D. There we go. Mush. Slaves. Build. Needs door. God damn it. How could you possibly run out of that stuff? Ugh, I hate when they do that. Ugh, just, just stop it. All right, fine. Um. Nope, nope. That's not what I want. Okay, what's the the, the shortcut thing for? Uh... It's uh, I've already forgotten what the shortcut key was to cancel lots of items. Why do we unpause the game? Alt X, that's what it is. I don't want them to build it if it's halfway complete. That's just ugly. There we go. We'll have to wait. I thought we had enough of this stuff. These are working pretty quick here. Is that junk here yet? It is. Alright, let's request a trader. Um, I want to get a different broker because I don't want him doing two things at once. He's already slacking off on the managed work orders task. So let's go by labor no spacers is good. Let's go to roles. I want to find the best broker. Best broker is Xander Hammeter, of course. But the next specs is Kaumdari. Kaumdari? Okay. What do you do, Kaumdari? You're a mace dwarf and a fisherman. That's pretty useless, so yeah. Um, Kaumdari is going to become our new broker. N. Oh no, it's boss. N. Kaumdari. Got to find broker. We need to re replace and search for Kaumdari. Found him. You're the new broker. Congratulations, you're requested at the depot. Get your ass over there. Go. Do it. In fact, if he's my broker, congratulations, dude. You just got the easy life. We're going to go nothing. We want to filter out Kaumdari. There he is. Congratulations, you get to have no labors at all. You're a broker. That's all you do. Nothing else. Except for architecture. You can design buildings. Okay, go. Get over there. What's he doing? He's storing an item in the stockpile. Well, hopefully when he's finished with that, he'll stop being dumb. Wasting time. God. Uh, something is coughing. Look at all that blood everywhere. Is that blood or is that just part of the design of the butcher's workshop, I think? I think these animals are eating all of the food. Yeah, I think I need to give them a larger pasture. So let's go that, and we'll go penner pasture. Um, let's put all the grazers here. And then this one I want to just go get rid of. I think, yeah, they've eaten their way through all that grass. I think I had to move them last time before the game crashed. I don't really remember, though. Okay, so they're doing a pretty good job. They're pulling all the rocks out. Looks like they're actually running low on rocks, which is weird. Um, so here, let's just give them more to dig. It's fine. And I think I'm going to take a break here, but rest assured, I am going to continue playing. So we're going to get quite a few videos in, hopefully. So I'm going to pause it right now. I will see you again in a little bit. Thanks for watching. See you soon.